Hi. In this video, we are going to talk about lo-fi reverb effect. I realized I have all of these pedals that can do lo-fi reverb. Some distort or some modulate the reverb signal. Some of them have an inherent lo-fi quality just because of the way they work. Let's take a look at some of my pedals and see what they do. Source Audio Ventress has a lo-fi mode with drive, modulation, and sample rate reduction controls. It can also self-oscillate. The lo-fi mode on Empress Reverb affects the dry signal as well, so your whole sound becomes lo-fi. It has two sub-modes, blue is 50s radio and green is warble. Space Force has a great lo-fi mode with distortion and modulation. The 
ramping allows you to change parameters momentarily. Reverb X is the smallest of the bunch, but it definitely does not sound small. Its distortion is dialed in perfectly to work with the reverb. It also has a gate option. Atmosphere by Dr. Scientist has a resolution parameter, which adjusts the resolution of the whole effects engine. This can lower the fidelity on any mode, but we will focus on the alias mode here. Alias mode is a reverb with sample rate reduction. Adding a random LFO to modulate the sample rate results in the best lo-fi effect this pedal offers, in my opinion. Light pedal is a spring reverb and it isn't marketed as a lo-fi reverb pedal, but it can definitely get there.
Sputnik has a belt and brick reverb. These chips have an inherent lo-fi quality. Sputnik also has unique routing options with its reverb and modulated delay. It is very easy to get great lo-fi reverb sounds out of this thing. Okay, this one isn't technically a pedal, but Mangled Verb is available on pedals like Eventide Space, H9, and H90, so pretend you're watching one of those here since the effect itself is the same. Mangled Verb is a great lo-fi reverb with distortion and wobble. Let's move on to some pedals that aren't really lo-fi reverb pedals, but can still do lo-fi reverb. HX Stomp is a very versatile multi-effects pedal, but it doesn't have a dedicated lo-fi reverb effect. It is still possible to create it though.
Synesthesia can run two effects at the same time, and the octave shifter effect has a reverb inside it. If we run that into the record antics effect, we get a lo-fi reverb. It sounds great with the order reversed as well. Syntax Era 2 has a sample crusher and a reverb effect, so guess what happens when we use them together? Eventide Black Hole is a great, versatile reverb with powerful EQ and modulation. It is possible to get a lo-fi sounding reverb if you set the EQ and modulation right. <laughs> 